Can you share more about the process of using generative AI uh, prompting? I'm sure was uh, something to look into quite deeply to come up with the prompts that work. Sure, we're using something called retrieval augmented generative AI. Basically what that means is we're using advanced machine learning techniques to ask questions on a large corpus of complex data and we're bringing in custom data kind of at the last second for context. This platform, if I were to go build it 10 years ago, or even five years ago, it would require an army of analysts to operate because we've got very complex data coming from a lot of data sources, um, and we would have to have analysts basically asking question, questions against that data and then providing an analytical report. And if you look at, as I mentioned, we kind of built this platform before in the past, uh, that's the approach we took. So you end up with this very large team of analysts um, operating the system, looks more like a managed service, less like a SaaS platform. At Lockchain, we're taking a different approach. We brought AI in from day one and have been focused on using the generative AI to, act, to facilitate the question answering. So we, we bring in these data sources on and off chain, 30 plus. Uh, we bring in data that is often not complete we bring in data that is often contradictory uh, against another data source, prompt the generative AI with questions um, that give us the answers that we need. Um, and it's taken us almost a year to get that right, but we've done it. Um, and now we ask hundreds of questions against hundreds of blockchain ecosystem assets um, on a very regular basis. And we get very high quality, high efficacy answers uh, against that complex data set. And the, the generative AI uh, has really allowed for all that to happen. Um, we're running this system with a very small team. Our, instead of analysts, we have people that are tuning the engine, um, which is a much smarter way to operate. Uh, it's better for our customers because probability of human error and human bias is a lot less. It's better for us as a company because, again, we don't have to kind of maintain this huge army of analysts. Um, and it um, allows for some very sophisticated data processing um, in a very efficient manner. So we're, we're very pleased with the results and what the AI has brought. Um, and it's really allowed us to build a different company than we would have built in the past.